everybody. Uh, this is just a quick um, bonus video, if you like. It's not a What's Up vlog. Uh, I'm just out walking Obes, Obi, as you can see there. And uh, I was bored, so I thought I'll have a chat with you guys. I can kill two birds with one stone. That's what I can do. I've decided uh, every week I'm going to put a very quick, unedited video up of my race stroke ride stroke vlog schedule. So if you miss it on the Facebook page, on the WKG page, uh, there'll be a little short video you know, on YouTube each week. So, a week starting today, Tuesday, um, I will be doing the KISS, what's it called? KISS Europe ride at 8 o'clock GMT this evening in the C category. And tomorrow I will be doing at 6 o'clock, I believe it is, GMT, the SDR, um, I can't remember what the race is called, but it's at 6 o'clock GMT, SDR race. It's one lap of the figure of eight uh, of Utopia course again in the C category. Thursday will be a rest day, and then Friday, as usual, the 11 a.m. GMT ZHR Hare and Hounds race, again going off with the C group. It's always a fun race, that one. Great group of guys and girls that, that join in that one. Um, not that it isn't for the other races, but uh, I'm just more familiar with the ZHR uh, crew. And um, then Saturday is either, either a rest day again or um, if time allows I will be doing the, the team type 1 uh, ride uh, which I may or may not video they don't this is really harsh because uh, group rides don't make particularly exciting videos and I don't expect everybody to sort of sit through those when there isn't um, a competitive element to them I know I only really watch race videos and very rarely sort of standard group ride videos but I feel uh, I feel harsh on team type 1 because they are my team and um, I would like to get them in the vlogs a little more often so maybe maybe a little uh, little video of that but that's that's not part of the uh, the official schedule uh, and then Sunday I'm torn between two it can be either my a normal Sunday WKG challenge which I'm tempted by a hundred kilometers in under three hours um, it's one I've mentioned a couple of times before to my my current uh, my current record is three hours and one minute for a hundred kilometers around Watopia and I'm absolutely sure I can beat that because I, I took in the um, the KOM a couple of times during that ride and if I just stick to the flat route I think I could, I could beat that so I want to do that which I definitely will at some point um, but possibly this Sunday alternatively and kind of in the lead in my thought process at the moment is the new uh, ZHR Grand Watopian uh, road race go, uh, mountain goat Grand Watopian mountain goat road race uh, which is depending on which category you go in, which mine will be C, I would imagine, you do a certain number of laps of the flat route of Utopia, and then race up to the top of the mountain on the epic KOM, and that sounds brilliant. And I've actually done that ride as training for the Ride London a few times, uh, where I did a certain distance flat up the mountain, back down again, then a few, then a bit more of a distance flat and up the mountain again. And uh, it's really, it's a really good workout, uh, but this will obviously be a race that'll so be even harder. Um, so quite excited by the prospect of that. So that at the moment is, um, is potentially what I'm doing on Sunday and I think that starts at 6 o'clock GMT uh, in the evening uh, with the C group which I will probably be in going off at 10 past 6 uh, so there you go that's my race schedule for the week um, New Year's resolutions I've, I've got uh, I've got plenty that I uh, declared to my my family over over New Year's Day lunch uh, so, but I'm just going to stick to the cycling related ones because otherwise it's incredibly boring. Three main ones. Number one, convince Emma that I need a Cervelo R2. I've just fallen in love with this bike since doing a little bit of investigation into it, um, having seen the reduced price at Sigma Sport. I have looked at one previously in the flesh and um, I, it just got me going. I'm not, I'm not absolutely sure, sure why because it's a really basic bike, very basic, straightforward geometry. Um, so I'm just going to turn around because I think I've come a long way down this road so Obi's going to get tired. Oh, let's go back this way. Come on, go back this way. So yeah, Cervelo R2, I need it. As a, as a starting point, that frame would be absolutely fantastic. And I can put my Mavic wheels on from my Specialized, a couple of other components from the Specialized which will further reduce weight and further improve the, the overall bike. Um, eventually update the whole group set to so it, so it becomes the basis of my my dream bike build for 2017. Um, another resolution, I'd like to join a cycling club. 
uh, and in real life, in a real world cycling club. I've toyed with the idea for some time. I'm not an overly confident person uh, in social situations. Um, it's probably why I talk to this video so much and uh, enjoy the, <laughs> the Zwift community because I don't actually have to socialise at all in a, in a real sense. Um, so I'm probably going to force myself to be a little braver, certainly when the weather warms up, and join uh, a local cycling club. Oxted Cycling Club looks really good. They do some lovely rides. And um, the main one being a Saturday morning steady pace group ride, which would be perfect because I'd actually use that as kind of base miles training for Zwift races. So kind of the, the reverse of what a lot of people do where they, they train on Zwift for real life races. I want to do the, uh, the flip side of that. Uh, and what was the third one? Ah, oh, okay, this is, this is cycling and general lifestyle resolution. I want to get my weight down to 70 kilometers, uh, kilometers 70 kilograms. I've, I'm 78 at the moment with the uh, post Christmas stuffing. And uh, my lowest, I think, for this year was, uh, sorry, for 2016 was about 74. And I hovered around 74, 75. Uh, for a while, went up to 76 and then stayed there for a long time. So I would like to get back down definitely to below 74, but the, uh, the overall objective would be to get it down to, to 70 if I can. Because uh, from a climbing point of view, I think that'll make a huge difference as long as I do it the right way. So not, not crash dieting or anything like that, just a good, balanced, nutritious diet and uh, the right kind of exercise. Um, so that's it, they're, they're, those are my three main cycling related resolutions. I'm sure you guys have made plenty yourselves and I, I guarantee you guys have included a cycling element to your resolutions as well. So I'll be really interested to hear about those, so whack them in the, in the comments below. Um, yeah, so that's it. Bloody freezing, just like I say, this isn't part of the usual vlog, just uh, walking over bit bored I wanted to chat rubbish about bikes and you guys are just the perfect audience for that so thanks for watching catch you soon